I mentioned earlier that we're also joined on the line by Shirley Lindeck, a mother to Ryan, to talk to us about her son's former learning problems. Shirley, yes. I, I imagine that, you know, this time of the year or uh, last month was possibly a very stressful time for you because, and not now, obviously, but uh, prior to having uh, taken your son through edu blocks, because your concern at the beginning of the year is how is he going to perform this year? Now he's got to go back to school. He's going to struggle all over again, Shirley. Yes, definitely. And um, you always, yes, you're always worried because they're going to a new teacher. Do they know the issues that they're having? And again, they're not problems. They're just They've got to study a little harder, mm. they've got to work a little harder, and you never know how it's going to turn out in any given year. At what point did you start seeing a few signs? Uh, right from early on. I was at speech therapy from the age of four, um, OT at five. He was at speech for about five years, which then became remedial English. Mm -hmm. He did a reading program, which worked, um, but unfortunately he regressed again. And last year when I picked up, I was studying with him and I realized that he actually was not able to read the work. He didn't understand the work that was on the page because he actually was missing words or um, mispronouncing words. Mm. So he was actually not able to study on his own. And how old is your son now, Shirley? He's 13. He's 13. Okay, so that's... That's that's the majority of his primary school life that he's uh, gone through and had to work uh, much harder than most children have had to work. And you talk about how there were certain things that did work and then at some point he's regressing. EduBlocks has been successful? It has. And the amazing thing with EduBlocks, I mean, I'm just blown away by EduBlocks. Within mm. six weeks of him starting EduBlocks, he, his marks improved in two cycle tests that he did. His marks dramatically and I, I still went back to um to monique and i asked her is it actually possible that this can happen i mean he's i'll give you an example mm -hmm. he, had a, he wrote a cycle test in the first term last year where he got 52 percent in the okay. second term he got 67. six weeks after starting edu blocks he got 89. wow oh that's stunning yeah no it's it's phenomenal it's i i i, I cannot even explain how amazing it is. And he did the same with maths and the, the same with social science, which was a subject that I picked up that he still had a reading problem last yeah. year. Yeah, and I, and I imagine that the confidence that uh, that he now exudes is, is, is so much more because he's able to understand the work that he's putting down. Definitely. And because he's more confident, I find that he, he does better. Mm. And also he can sit down and study on his own, whereas before he could not do that. Right. Surely as a mother who's, you know, come so far with Ryan and um, obviously finally uh, found the golden egg with edu blocks, uh, just talk to me about the signs. So a mother who's not quite sure what's happening with their son or daughter, the signs that they should first be uh, looking out for and what you advise that parent to do. As I said, it's been, a, it's been a long road and many years, and yeah. I wish I'd found edu blocks earlier. I think it's very easy for a parent, as a, as a small child, they're always doing reading. They're reading to you. They're having spelling tests. You immediately pick up, I mean, Ryan, he had the B and the D, and in fact, probably till early last year, he would still sometimes get the B and the D confused. Mm. Um, I, would, I would take steps. To, a lot of parents don't want to do anything. A lot of parents go, no, no, it'll be fine. As I get older, it'll get better. You know what? Maybe it will, but rather take steps to help them, to make it easier for them to get better. Mm. It's pointless sitting back and saying, well, you know, hopefully with the, the learning at school, they'll be fine. I've just found that you've got to, you've got to be proactive. And I'll tell you that I believe EduBlocks is the, the difference I've seen in, I mean, Ryan hasn't even been there a year, mm. and the difference is huge, and his confidence has grown because he can do better and because now he understands that he actually can do it, mm. where before he didn't believe that he could do it. Yeah. And uh, Shirley, just quickly, what does Ryan want to be when he grows up? Right now, if you're asking me, he wants to, pro he wants to write games. <laughs> Sweet. Computer games, as most of them do at this age. Yeah, no, most of them do at this age. Shirley, thank you so much for your time. And it's give a Ryan thank you, a big hug from all of us.